and welcome to the Red Fox Report, brought to you by the Marist Center for Sports Communications. I'm Nicole Vodder alongside Nick Vete, and today we're bringing you action from softball and lacrosse. Yes, but we'll start today with men's lacrosse as Marist traveled down to Sacred Heart. The Red Foxes in an early hole as it was an 8-0 deficit to start, but Marist would finally get on the board here in the second quarter as Joshua Barkersell finishes from close range with the one-timer. We'll move ahead now to the final minute of the third quarter. It's the freshman this time, Sean Mullen. He's going to weave his way inside, and he's going to get a short-range goal to go this time. Maris scored back-to-back -back goals to close out the third quarter. We'll move ahead now to the fourth, the opening face-off of the quarter. Maris on the comeback trail, and Dylan Bedell wins the face-off, storms upfield, and he's going to fire a commanding shot, five-hole between the goalie's legs. Maris won 13 of 21 face-offs in this game. The Red Foxes scored six unanswered goals to get back into things, but the dagger here off the stick of James Moran would end things for the Red Foxes in their comeback attempt. They lose 12-7. The Red Foxes came into their home game against Quinnipiac off of their first conference win against the Manhattan Jaspers. The match started quick, with Kerry Gutenberger scoring the first goal for the Red Foxes just 32 seconds in, followed by another goal from Olivia Ernstein at the 115 mark. Quinnipiac bit back with a goal by Kate Banowski. The Red Foxes answered this goal with three in a row, capped off by a goal from Kelly Trotta, creating a 5-1 advantage at the 427 mark. Maris would carry a lead into quarter two. Three straight goals in a row in the second quarter by Quinnipiac brought the Bobcats just within one. They carried this one-point deficit into the third quarter. There were no goals in the first 11-15 of the third quarter until Kate Badowski broke the silence and tied the score. However, Trotta shattered the tie with back-to-back -back goals, her fifth and sixth of the game, in a 58-second span to give Maris the lead. Heading into the final corner, the Red Foxes lost their lead briefly, but Gutenberger's third goal of the game tied the score with just over four minutes left. Maris's TikTok sensation, Maddie Schrader's goal, put the Red Foxes over into a 13-12 lead, which would win them the game. Next up, Nicole, we got to give some love to the softball team. They've had an outstanding start to the season. They were supposed to play Cornell last week, but that game was canceled due to rain. But they're 26-10 overall, 8-3 in MAC play. That's tied for first alongside Iona. What have you seen from them that's given them so much success to start this season? Yeah, I mean, they really have been so much fun to watch. Their offense has been off the charts, so it's, it's fun to watch them. It's been fantastic to watch. Their offense playing at unreal levels. Maya McDonald and Haley are leading the charge, both first and second in home runs in the MAC. And they're leading every single offensive statistic except for hit by pitch and sacrifice bunts. So we'll look to see their continued success. But the men's lacrosse team was also in action recently. 100%. Let's take a look at that. Maris visited Mount St. Mary's facing off against Brody Atkinson, who leads their team in goals. Both teams are looking to get their second conference win. Just over four minutes left in the first, Maris leads 1-0. And a goal by Colin Patrick, Maris goes up 2-0. Maris leading 7-6 after giving up six goals in the second. Jake D.C. just bodies a defender for a top corner goal. That's a hat trick for D.C. and he's now the leading scorer on the team. 7.30 left, tied at 9. Brody Atkinson gets it, shoves it in the back of the net. That's his fourth goal of the game. Mountaineers lead 10-9. A Red Fox goal ties the game at 10. Just under three minutes left, Drew Anderson finds the back of the net and Maris now leads 11-10. Let's take one more look at that because Anderson really bodies that defender and somehow finds a way to just put it in. The Mountaineers just could not score again after this, and the Red Foxes win 11-10, their second conference win of the season. Great to see the men's lacrosse team get back in the win column. That's all the time we have for you here today on the Red Fox Report. We'll see you next time.